A top story, the Raman Singh government in Chhattisgarh will give a state funeral to the 11 Jawans who were killed in the Maoist ambush yesterday. Red Terror returning to Chhattisgarh after a lull of 10 months. 11 Jawans and a civilian were killed in a three-hour-long encounter between 50 security personnel from the CRPF and police and a group of 150 Naxals. The Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde and the Chief Minister paid tribute to the slain Jawans as questions are being raised over the failures and glaring lapses by the security forces. Nitin Gokhale joins us now on the phone line for more. Uh, Nitin, a tribute to those slain Jawans, but uncomfortable questions being uh, raised about the lapses that took place. Of course, uh, the Jawans do deserve uh, the honour that they have been given because after all they are doing their duty and in the line of duty they have died. But uh, certainly there are questions that are being raised both uh, in the Home Ministry uh, here in Delhi and uh, in the uh, Chhattisgarh government on why uh, the standard operating procedures uh, which uh, have been drilled into uh, the security forces who are operating in the Maoist areas were not followed, uh, especially uh, when that area where this attack took place on uh, Tuesday is known to be a stronghold of the Maoist. Uh, remember, just uh, less than a year ago, or more than a year ago, in fact, in May, uh, they had, uh, they had uh, killed uh, almost the entire political leadership of the Congress in Chhattisgarh, and uh, the Maoists are known to operate there. For instance, this CRPF patrol uh, went into a routine uh, patrol on the same uh, route uh, day in, day out for the past couple of months, which allowed the Maoists to observe their movement, their strength, their weakness, the weaponry that they carried, and uh, then finally outnumber them uh, in the attack uh, on Tuesday, uh, which uh, about for 25 of the CRPF and uh, policemen were outnumbered by about 70 to 100 Maoists who were well-armed and well-trained and, of course, knew the terrain better than the CRPF and the police. So uh, those questions are being raised. Also the questions on why senior officers of the CRPF and the police uh, do not lead these patrols or do not stay close to where these deployments are made. Uh, generally, these uh, small patrols are being led by inspector-level officers by, of the CRPF uh, who obviously lack uh, certain qualities which a higher leadership can provide. So now those questions are also asked and uh, maybe there will be a little bit of a tweaking uh, in the SOPs as well as uh, revisiting the strategy against the Maoists in, the, in those strongholds right. uh, that they seem to rule there. Right? And Nitin, are we also seeing a political blame game breaking out between the centre and the state government? Well, in this case, fortunately, uh, neither the uh, Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde nor uh, the Chief Minister have blamed each other. Uh, although there have been uh, some voices like uh, Ajit, Jogi, Ajit Jogi and uh, some others who have talked about the, uh, the lapses on part of the state government. But uh, I think uh, all parties realize that this is a fight. They have to fight unitedly. And uh, if not, the Maoists will keep targeting the political parties and political personalities uh, and take advantage of the differences between them. Therefore, I think here, at least one uh, saving grace is that there is no uh, political uh, blame game at the moment, at least, in this particular instance. Kargi? All right, Nitin, thanks so much for joining us uh, with that. And let's just listen in to what the Chief Minister, Dr. Raman Singh, had to say on the tragedy. Congress ko naksali ghatme ka aur rajiti kasme se nahi dekna ki hai. Mainne bar bar yehi kaha ki Chhattisgarh nahi hai, desh ke samasya hai aur yahaare jawan इस पूरी लड़ाई में पूरी ताकत से लड़े हुए हैं इसलिए इसको राजनीतिक दृष्टिकोण से ये इस्तीफा दे ये इस्तीफा दे ये इस ऐसे समय में मुझे लगता नहीं कि इसको राजनीतिक चश्मे से देखा जाए